Bye. <laughs>
but there's some crazy stuff that happens towards the ending of that season like really crazy stuff and um you definitely want to watch that show that is something that you'll definitely binge watch i kid you not and it just came out fresh with a second season so you'll have two seasons to watch you're welcome <laughs> the 100 okay so the 100 is another show and mind y'all i like watching shows that have to do with teenagers young adults all that because i am one so it's like um yeah so these pe these kids are the 100 okay so we're not even gonna say they're in school so what ended up happening was the earth the world it, it was done for it exploded whatever so they ended up having to leave they ended up going on a spaceship like bunch a bunch of people just so that um you know people wouldn't die or whatever and then you know shot it out somewhere i don't know they were somewhere in the galaxy or whatever so it came time after a while they were just like okay we want to go back down to earth like we cannot live like this. they're running out of air food supplies water everything so they were like we have to send people down there so they have like this detention center or whatever you know usually like people go to jail but no this was like a bunch of teenagers so they have like you know a little society on the ship or whatever you know like the president or whatever i don't know so there was a woman forgot her name there was a guy whatever so the woman they ended up all of them ended up voting so they decided the kids were gonna go <laughs> so the woman that's on that board her child was one of the kids that had to go and it's a girl she ends up being the leader of all the kids and everything so they sent all 100 of those children down there mind you some of them were like kids like 10 years old type kids and they sent them down to earth and earth is livable all that good stuff but it's like it's like what what is it what's the word that i'm looking for um y'all know like how they be trying to talk all that crap talking about how we come from monkeys and then like we whatever i don't know what the word is y'all know what it is y'all know what i'm talking about but anyway so it's like everything on the earth just looks more evolved there you go evolved so it's like regular bugs are not bugs anymore they're like a whole nother thing and i'm already scared of bugs so like to know that that's what those that's what they think that it will look like in the future just, i don't know but anyway so they go down there and some kids are killing kids because they're like oh what are we gonna do this kid did that we need to get on my nerves people are fighting there's other things going on and there are actually people on the earth that were able to go through that um it was like a cancer like if they all stayed on there they would have died but there's people that's on the earth that's immune to that like it's crazy that's a good show like go ahead and watch it another good show is quantico y'all i was ready to become an fbi agent when i watched the show okay like your girl was like that's what i'm gonna do in my life i'm gonna be an fbi agent yep and i'm gonna be the best one there is i'm gonna be better than alex okay alex is the girl that i'm about to tell you about so long story short Alex wants to be an FBI agent, <laughs> like I did, you know what I'm saying? So, she becomes one. She gets into the field or whatever. Um, and let's just go back a little bit. Like, this all starts in Quantico. Quantico actually is real. I believe it's a place in Virginia, and it is where people go to become FBI agents. So, she ends up becoming an FBI agent, and she gets to the field or whatever. Everything seems all cool or whatever, but it was already some funny stuff going on while she was like, you know practicing and becoming an FBI agent next thing you know she got set up to, it's on the news that she's a whole terrorist that she blew up this place that she did that she probably poisoned this and da, da, da. this girl she done been through it all okay she had a guy who she was with no they were friends first then they became boyfriend and girlfriend then they broke up then they were huge enemies they couldn't trust each other but then they got back to let me tell y'all that is a really good show like she she figures out how to hide how to try to clear her name how to get around how to become a different person about every other day she gets a whole team and everything like where she has a place where she they have like these high-tech computers like she, it's a good show another one is santa clarita diet so this show it has drew barrymore in it and basically, you know, she's living her regular life. Her and her husband are realtors, so they sell houses. And one day she wakes up, she goes to work with her husband, and you know, they're showing off a house. And she goes off to another room, she wasn't feeling well, and she just throws up. 
and I mean like she threw up worth more than her entire being does that make sense like she threw up like by the time she was done throwing up the whole room was filled up with the vomit it was disgusting and then like this little ball came out of her and she was like what is that long story short the ball grew legs and it was like a little pet but anyway <laughs> after all of that happened she realized i don't want food no more i think i want meat she started eating steak raw steak or whatever and then she was like that's not it this ain't it that ain't enough then all of a sudden she started eating rabbits then she was like that ain't enough oh my god and one day she got a taste of somebody's finger or something she was like this is it this what i want long story short her husband and her daughter and even their neighbor the the the, the boy is the same age as her daughter they get into this whole thing where it's just like you know they're murdering people in order for her to survive and eat and they're covering it up and it, it's a good show and it's funny watch that show okay watch that show so next one the society all right so the society is basically a show where these high school kids they had a trip coming up or whatever so they all went on the trip I don't remember where they went because it's been a minute like I, I watched it so long ago I'm still waiting for them to put out the next season so anyway they went on a trip long story short they came back everybody gone nobody's there okay nobody at this point I'm not even sure if there were like animals around like there was no one okay so the kids had to fend for themselves you know they had to they they did what we've been doing all these centuries somebody had to be like a president someone had to be like a governor somebody had to be a mayor like you know what i'm saying and somebody's sister got murdered they had to figure that out i don't know how that happened because everyone is like we're amongst a bunch of kids like this is crazy oh my god <sighs> y'all another good show legacies you can watch Legacies without having to watch these other two shows, but I'm gonna just let y'all know like Legacies involves werewolves, witches, vampires, all that type of stuff, monsters, all types of stuff like that. And it's really good. And if you guys, if you're an OG to Legacies, you would know that, well not OG to Legacies, but if you're an OG to these two shows that I'm about to say, then you will know how popping Legacies is, or it'll just make sense to you. But if you have not watched Vampire Diaries or the originals, because they're all connected, all three shows, Vampire Diaries, the originals, and Legacies, they're all connected. I put y'all on something. And trust me, if y'all go watch all three of those shows, y'all be set until quarantine probably be over. I'm just saying. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. It's about a girl. Um, her dad was one of the best vampires. I don't want to say he was the best, but he was like the most like, he ain't play no games. Okay. He didn't play no games. He even had a cool name. I'm saying, like, his name was Klaus. Like, what you think of when you hear Klaus? Like, damn. And he had that, like, that that English accent. So, Y'all, just go watch the show. That show's a really good show. <laughs> okay, The Magicians. Okay, The Magicians is a show. It's about these kids. They're in college. And it's a specific school. It's all about magic. They have, like, I think there's a place called Coventry. No. Or am I thinking about Twitches? Yo, don't this video if y'all know about Twitches from Disney. <laughs> don't sleep. Don't sleep on it. But um, there's like this whole other like magical world or whatever. But long story short, these are regular people and they can go to a certain school that teaches magic. And with this magic, it's more like actual powers, like actual powers. Because it has to do with gods and goddesses and stuff like that. So it's like actual powers. And um, there's like these four 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 characters i don't know it's like four or five of them um and one becomes super 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 powerful to the point that it's like she done forgot who the hell she was and who the hell everybody else was and she became like this evil i don't know but she came down from that and things was crazy um there's these other two who became like king and queen of the other magic world like it's just a whole bunch of craziness okay and like the girl who had all the power she became they call it a niffin that it was crazy like 
<laughs> I don't even want to sit here and try to explain it to y'all. Like, I'm just giving y'all, I'm giving y'all the names, okay? I'm dropping gems. Like, go watch it. Uh, and the last show I have on here is Atypical. Now, this show has nothing to do with any type of magic or anything like that. It's just raw and real life. It is about a guy who is autistic. He's in high school, going to college, and this show is just so funny. And it's like, you really get to learn the day in and day out of how life is for someone living a life and being autistic. And he's just, it's like a witty show. Like he's just so, he's funny, but he'd be like dead serious, but it's just so funny. Like <laughs> y'all gotta watch that show. Like it goes from him graduating from high school, him getting a girlfriend, him doing things that a grown man supposed to do, him learning how to just deal with life. Like it's a really good show and it's something different from like your everyday drama. Well, it has drama in it, but like your everyday like magic, werewolves, witches, vampires, blowing up stuff and all. Like it's just different from that and it's just real life and it's funny and it's a good show to watch. And I did add a bonus show for y'all. And the bonus show is Lucifer. <laughs> that show, and I'm so hyped because they're coming out with the next season. Like, I think on the 20-something of this month, they're coming out the next season. I've been waiting, okay? This show, exactly the name. And if y'all know the devil's name, this is Lucifer. He comes up out of hell and he comes to earth. And he doesn't want to go back to hell. And because he's not going back, no one's ruling hell. Things are getting out of hand. The demons are going crazy. They're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. They also um, let you know that because it's not balanced out, that heaven is falling apart too. Like, it's just crazy. Like, we end up seeing his mother. Um, he keeps trying to talk to his father, who's God. And we all know, like, God is not, he ain't dealing with him. He like, um, no, you're bad. You're staying down there. Ugh, you're canceled. So, like, he, he has, like, you know, daddy issues because, you know, that's the one who like threw his ass out of heaven <laughs> but like the show is crazy like the demon starts to come to earth and all this crazy stuff like that's the bonus show i just wanted to get that all out the way i just wanted to let you you know put y'all on to some of these netflix shows um if you guys enjoyed this video definitely thumbs it up let me know if you guys want like a movie series like not a series let me know if you guys want me to do um, sh movies to watch on Netflix because I got some movies for y'all too. And I still got more shows. Like, let me know. Thumbs up this video. Definitely make sure you guys subscribe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I also hope that you guys got some good shows to watch. <laughs> and if you guys got any shows for me, like, let me know. Although, I highly doubt that I didn't see them because I didn't see, like, all the shows on Netflix and all the movies. But let me know because I need some new shows and new movies to watch. And, um... I will definitely see y'all in my next video. Duh. <laughs>